Hey guys, so today I thought we're gonna take a look at Reshiram. It's one of those restricted that we haven't featured on the channel, so I thought, okay, let's um, have a good team with it. And I think this one checks a lot of boxes, like Milotic is really good. Uh, I love the Milotic with um, Blizzard here, so yeah, you, you can like set hail and just go for consistent Blizzards. I also love the Cheer Force uh, Landers here. Mm, I, I just and, and basically with choice carve i think it can be very strong and most of most importantly also unexpected on the other on the opposing team um <laughs> also ally switch on the togekiss i don't want to be that guy with ally switch but you know it's it's there um so yeah um let's try it out also it's lumberry restaurant so i think that's because we can go against some teams which are really common so that's gonna protect uh, against those Venusaurs uh, running around. Um, but yeah, let's check it out and see how we do. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoy this type of content, let me know in the comments and also consider subscribing to support the channel. Okay, going into the first battle. And it's gonna be that um, very strong pair Kingdra with Kyogre. So. Yeah, I'm not sure if uh, Reshiram is looking great here, to be honest. But let's see what we can do here. Um, I mean, Togekiss... Is Togekiss the answer here? I do like Rillaboom. Hmm. I really, really like Rillaboom here. Maybe Urshifu as well. Yeah, the main problem is like Kyogre Kingdra, right? Like, what do I do against that? Uh, I would take a, a lot of damage. Um. Yeah, okay, let's go this two and then the these two. I I don't see a clear way out of Kingdra Kyogre. Um you water spout Max Geyser, but I could ally switch the Max not like follow me the Max Geyser I think could be good. Okay, it's gonna be a Lecky and Kyogre. Uh, so, do you go for Water Spout? Um, what I like is they don't have a switching into a Dragon move. So I could very easily go for this here and follow me. I mean, you probably electro web. Could also helping hand. I'm gonna helping hand because I think they're gonna water spout. Yeah. And since we don't have protect on the uh, toy keys, then I, I would have gone for protect here on the toy keys. But because uh, there's the potential of water spout and electro web, so I don't think follow me is good. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can actually survive this. I'm not sure. Mm. It's gonna connect. Yeah, there's the water spout. It's a lot of damage, but I think 
we will be able to remove that Kyogre. So. Oh no, it stayed. Um, was not enough even with the helping hand. Yes, it's pretty bulky, like especially bulky. Um, yeah, we can go Rillaboom here just to put some pressure here. Obviously, Rillaboom is really good here. Um, I think you swap the Kyogre out into Kingdra potentially. Um, so I think what I want to do here is actually max Flare here and Fake Out. Yeah, there's the Kyogre swap. Oh, it's a Mungus. Okay. So, yeah, I'm covering for a potential Sash on the Eleki there. Mm, but obviously, they can reset the rain now. Um, so, wait, you have Kyogre, you have a Mungus. There's one more missing, right? I'm assuming it's the Kingdra, though. Oh, okay. Scar Trump. Um, I mean... I could lower their attack. And I think with the Urshifu, oh, man. Problem is the um, Spore Amungus, right? But I think you you are forced to Rage Powder here. Okay, let's do this. I really, really think you're forced to Rage Powder. Hmm. So Kyogre is like... Uh, almost... KO'd. Yeah, there's the Rage Powder. It doesn't affect Rillaboom. And... I think... Oh, it's Rockfall. Um, do we survive this? Yeah, okay. So now we lower their attack. And also because Rage Powder is not gonna affect the Rillaboom, Wood Hammer is really, really good. We're gonna take a lot of recoil though. But that's fine. Yeah, okay. Um, now the sand is kind of a problem because I want to potentially keep the um, the sash intact on the worship. I think we do heat wave here and how many turns we need to watch out how many turns okay yeah uh, we need to get rid of the Mungus but we will grassy glide here first actually the the rain from Kyger is gonna benefit us so we need that switch as soon as possible. Hmm. It's 
pretty good damage from the grassy glide. It's gonna be the quake. And yeah, I guess you sludge bump here. Actually, we needed that heat wave. Hmm. Oh, okay, they don't have sludge bomb, which is really, really good. Hmm. What is the arch jump speed actually? It's really fast. So. Oh man. I think we target the... We definitely go after the Amoongus here. And uh, do we would hammer. This is tough. Because uh, another thing we could do is Sucker Punch, but they were Rage Powder probably. So let's do this and glide here. I don't think we have an out. I mean, Rillaboom was really good for us, but unfortunately, it's not gonna be. Okay, he pick up, picks up the KO. That's huge. That's huge because the Kyogre is in range of a Sucker Punch and even though grassy, the Grassy Terrain is going to be... Uh, it's going to basically disappear right now, we can always Sucker Punch and I think it's a guaranteed win from there. Also the rain is going to be up and yeah. We still have our sash, so. Nice. That was close, though. That was really, really close. I think if we had the... Like, the Helping Hand Max Win Wind, if it had KO the Kyogre, then that would be much easier. But now we can just go for Wicked Blow and... Glide. I guess they protect, but... Okay, nice. All right, uh, that was really close, I would say. So let's get into another battle. All right, um, going into the second battle of the day. Man, seeing Sableye is always tricky, right? It's always um, really, really tricky to go against that. Obviously, Urshifu is really good for us here against Solgaleo. Mm. Uh, what to do? <laughs> I kind of think we need to lead with the Rillaboom just to cover for a jack button. Okay, let's try this. Togekiss, Urshifu for sure, and Landorus. Um, not bringing the Rillaboom, instead I'm just gonna protect. Uh, if they, they probably lead Sableye, right? I always see it. Um, 
it's very rare to see Sableye in the back. But yeah, it can disrupt a lot of the battle, so i rather get rid of it. It's gonna be the right though. Hmm. Do I mind? Because I could follow me. They could electroweb. I mean, they could also snarl me and. Ah, uh, but if I if I go with the max quake into it, they just bring the, out the togekiss, and I think togekiss might be in the back. I'm actually okay with this flare and follow me okay there's the switch there's the switch and there's the twinkies so oh but it was not in the Raikou uh, that hmm. that's very interesting the main thing is I don't want to get paralyzed on the rush run, so I, that's why I felt like Thunder Wave is a possibility here, so I wanted to follow me just to be safe. At the same time we set the sun. Okay, but it's gonna be Snarl, okay. Yeah, I mean, Snarl was also... I, I don't know why I didn't think about it. But, oh well. Okay, now we flare again, I guess, expecting... Um, follow me, but we can Dazzling Gleam here, and I think this is Crit, crit Kiss. Let's see if we get lucky. I'm not that concerned about Solgaleo because we have Urshifu. Um, but they are stalling my Dynamax really well. So if we manage to crit with the Togekiss, I think... Yeah, all those snarls don't matter. Um, so let's see. But no crits. No crits. Um, now, I think I need to stop flaring now. Uh, but yeah, I was gonna say, like, I don't want to activate a uh, weakness policy because we're at minus two. But I, I think, <clears throat> sorry, I think we still go for this. And there it is, like, this is exactly what I was saying, like, <laughs> I really don't want to activate a weakness policy, but, oh, okay, they, they do follow me. Now. I feel like they're gonna max this turn. Uh, they're gonna max. And now it's up to us to stall their Dynamax. And I do think that they're just going to steal Max Steel Spike, the Toekist here. 
but I don't have a good switching to that, so... Um, I might just Earth Power here. Oh, this is where the ally switch can come in handy. Okay, let's let's be that guy. Because I, I really think... I really, really think that they're going to expect a follow me. And they're not quaking, they're going for the max steel spike into the Togekiss. But now it's up to us to try and <laughs> look at that glitch. Okay. That's scary. That's definitely scary. I don't know if we take that, to be honest. <laughs> look at Reshiram. He's not in the He's not in the picture. <laughs> yeah, there's the steel spike into Reshiram. Let's see if we can actually take that. Oh, we do, okay, perfect. Because this is this is important to stall their their Dynamax. Okay. Now let's see if Earth Power can pick up the KO. Yeah, it's gonna be enough. Nice. As long as we have Urshifu, <laughs> I think this should be possible. Mm, uh, do you go after the, the weak is here? I mean, it's quite safe to glide into restroom and then Max Steel Spike the Toikis. Um, so... I think we can follow me and hit wave. Doesn't matter, they activated their weakness policy already. Oh! Forgot... Wait, I, I totally forgot Fake Out is higher priority than... Uh... <laughs> okay. I totally forgot um, Fake Out has higher priority than Follow Me. That's my bad. But, I mean, if we protect it. Yeah, I think that was the play. I think this is still doable. Because we have tier fours. So let's go for this and wicked blow. Uh, I'm not sure who's faster actually. Maybe Urshifu? Oh, it's gonna be a speed tie, right? Let's see. But them having the Rillaboom, it's so good. That's really good damage. Yeah, and Wicked Blow comes first. Okay. So. We still have this, guys. Because we, we're sashed. Uh, but Rillaboom is actually really good, so... I don't know. I think... I think we have it. Um, we're locked to Earth Power. So... I think we always Wicked Blow here. I don't mind if they go after the landers, but yeah, okay. 
Nice, nice. Well played. Well played by my opponent here as well. Um, I was definitely in a bad spot at some point. But yeah, nice. Let's go into the next battle here. All right, guys. Um, it's oh, it's the last battle of the day, and it's going to be against a very interesting Dido team here um, in Lugia. Hmm. That's really cool. I think I like Reshiram Togekiss to be honest. Um, Urshifu. And then it's between Landorus and Rillaboom. We do have uh, Stone Edge here. Okay, let's go with this. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, it was either the Landers or the Rillaboom. I think Rillaboom provides a lot of utility, but the matchup was not great. So i rather go with the um, landers here. Now this guy, I don't know what... <laughs> I have no idea what it's going to go for. I need to see. Lopni. Fake out helping hand. Switch rule. Oh man. I kind of want to scout out what are they going for. Oh, I could ally switch as well. Okay. I'm just going to scout out what are they going for. Uh I guess the worst would be Switch Rule or Thunder Wave. Hmm. I mean, I know Lugia is like super tanky. Let's see. It's gonna be max guard. Okay, I'm okay with that. I'm really fine with that. Okay. Okay, switch through. I, I don't mind that at all. Now we have an assault vest. Um, I really don't mind that. And hmm. We can follow me here and hmm. I don't think the sun is valuable for us here. Uh all of their Pokemon are basically weak to like, or fire resist, I would say. But I think I'll still go for that. Just in case. I mean, against Lugia, I guess, we, we can deal some good damage into it. But I have to say, I really don't mind that Assault Vest. <laughs> they quaked into the... 
Hoggy Kid Slot. Hmm. Okay, I think we get rid of it. Yeah. I mean, Togek is really shining here for us. Really good support coming out of Togek is here. Um, like this team is really tanky though, so it's really not over. And there's the Toxic Packs. Um, might be baiting into a Max Quake, right? But there's only one thing that it's... Do you really bring the Landers here? I mean, why not, right? Because I feel like Dito players always bring the Dito. So, I, I think we're ahead and we can afford to make this play. And they didn't protect. They don't protect on the Tox Packs. We revealed Max Quake already. So they know we have it. Uh, let's see if this is gonna be enough. Yeah, it's enough. Okay, great. That's really good because that's a really tough Pokemon to deal with. It's kind of like the Barrow Thorn. But now it's like we're super tanky, right? With the Assault Vest plus two special defense boost. There's the Ditto. Um. Yeah. Honestly, if we manage to get a non-paralysis and we follow me, um, Earth Power here, I think we should be fine. I just hope Dito is not carrying Protect or it's not Sashed. Because I've seen like Sash Ditos. I, I don't care much about the Lugia here because I think with the Urshifu we have enough to deal with. It's just the. Okay, they go for the Protect. But I think that's fine. Hmm. Well, I, I do think the Urshifu is going to take the Lugia down. It's just a matter of dealing with the Ditto right now. So, let's go for that again. Just hope we don't get paralyzed. I think the uh, the ratio is like or rate is like one in three. Okay, we no para. Um, and it's a little bit tough because. I'm following me and they cannot really go for earth power because this happens <laughs> but okay uh, yeah, it's quite tanky <clears throat> do you actually protect right now Uh, 
I'm gonna actually Dazzling Gleam and Protect here. Oh, I, I can't because of the Assault Vest. Right, right, right. Okay, let's Helping Hand Earth Power. I think you Protect here, the Rush Room. Hmm, are you Earth Powering again? Okay, yeah, okay. There's the Protect. I mean... I really don't think Lugia can deal with the Urshifu. I really don't think so. And I hope I have enough battery to finish the episode. <laughs> um, I have to say, we have been lucky not to miss a... I'm just gonna go for the Draco here. I think we would pick up the KO. <clears throat> wow, they they really need to think this through. I mean, there's. A, I, I have to say we were like super lucky with those paralyzed. Um, we do have plus two special defense. I don't think they're gonna pick up a KO here. And yeah, it's heat wave into the toy kids. Okay, we connect. This should pick up the KO, I think. Okay. Uh, I mean, I think... Yeah, I think we, we actually... There's no way they win this. Hmm. I just need a free switching. Going for the burn just to get some cheap damage. But yeah. I think with Urshifu we have a guaranteed win. It would have been nice to like helping hand wicked blow, but okay. Uh should be okay. Now the thing is, Urshifu is actually slower than L Lugia here. So there's a chance that we need the Sash. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not sure if actually one Wicked Blow will KO. Like, Lugia is pretty, pretty tanky. So I'm gonna swap here to recover my my minus two we have assault rest so it's fine yeah there it is it's faster so let's see gonna bring bring us down to the sash but i really think this should pick it up super effective right hmm. yeah Yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, super effective move. Look, is pretty tanky, but still. Wicked blow. Guaranteed crit. Alright, I'm gonna leave it here for today, guys. As always, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.